air signs gemini libra and aquarius welcome to my channel this is chelsea thank you so much for liking and subscribing i really appreciate your love and support in this reading we are going to find out who will you be getting married to and when and this reading has many specific details that you may not resonate from the beginning till the end let's get a reading started spirits and angels please show me for air signs gemini libra and aquarius who will they marry and why and when <laughs> not why and when i hope i remember because i think the last sign i did i forgot to say when because <laughs> i forgot Okay, six of slots and reverse could be within six days, six weeks, six months, or six years. And for some of you, you may, or it could be on like June, number six, June, or on the sixth of something, okay? Um, the date could be on the sixth of June. Don't take the timing too, too literally, okay? When it comes to tarot reading, timing is not really that accurate, it's just an approximate. But anyway, yeah, it could be on the 6th of June, you know, depending which year. But obviously, it's already July, so it's going to be next year if it's, 6th of, if it's 6th of June. If you're ready for marriage, right? At the end of the day, it's a choice as well. Uh, we've got the Nine of Cups here. This person could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. Some of you, you may have not... M okay, just remember this okay if you haven't met this person yet it's got, not gonna resonate with you some of you maybe you've already met this person so it may resonate somehow okay so the nine of cups you can indicate either this is somebody very romantic or somebody of a water sign pisces cancer or a scorpio could be around uh like 20s late 20s or 30s okay around that age and we've got the sun here in reverse the tower in reverse yeah for some of you haven't met this person yet the tower in reverse can indicate maybe this is your knight in shining armor it doesn't matter it's not gender specific again this person may save the day or save something okay it could also be uh both of you will meet each other by chance or that you may get into a little bit of a trouble and this person will come in and like sort of help you and then you're gonna feel like a sense of gratitude and uh, maybe then both of you are gonna connect with each other if both of you haven't met each other yet okay i feel like yeah the sun in my first feels like you haven't met haven't seen this person yet or haven't met this person yet maybe you have this person hasn't appeared yet in your life especially if you're single um, some of you, it could also, if you already known this person, maybe in the past, both of you had a tower moment. And then with it being reversed, maybe this person is finally coming in and offering you love and wanting to fix things with you, right? Something negative may have happened between two of you in the past. This person may have walked away from you or you may have walked away from this person. The high priestess, look at the cross here on her necklace or yeah, I think it's a necklace, the cross. Can you see? So this for me also can indicate marriage. Sometimes the high priestess. And the fool here can indicate maybe this is someone you will meet while you're on some new adventure or while you're traveling when you finally decide to take a risk. But for some of you, this could even be like a secret wed wedding um, that both of you might go to Vegas or or could run away and get married somewhere and um, because the higher prices can indicate secrets right keeping some secrets in regards of taking this new leap of faith with you or you with them up together okay none of cups here is in reverse if there is a wedding it feels like it's not going to be um a wedding that i feel everybody is going to be invited it just feels very ex exclusive feels very very private yeah that's what i'm getting here. four of cups this person could be somebody very picky or the fools again again maybe this is somebody who could be a nomad digital nomad or somebody who likes to travel if it's not that or somebody um somebody whom is adventurous i would say mm, someone who follows their heart 
uh, again, very, roman- very romantic. I sense a very simple person. And simple is good. <laughs> you don't need a complicated person. I just told a friend today, uh, not, not today, like a few days ago, there is a friend, my friend's friend actually, I mean, we, we aren't that close, but he's already 50 years old and he's always failed in, you know, meeting the right person. And um, because he always liked very complicated women or he would chase after women who are really hard to get. So now he's already 50 and, you know, he's he really wants to find someone he could spend the rest of his life with. So I just told him, I said, why? I said, you keep chasing after complicated women, and women that are so hard to get. Why don't you just pick someone simple? Someone simple. And I even said obedient. <laughs> Everybody started laughing because I said obedient. It's like, not you know, just simple. Someone. It feels like this is someone simple to me. Neither cups and the full here. Some of you, it's just someone not complicated, like easygoing, you know, not too... I don't know whether it's, I don't know, some of you might hate me for saying this, someone not so opinionate, too opinionated, you know, because the fool here is like someone carefree, somebody very, you know, um, just open, open to try new things, someone who loves genuinely with the Knight of Cups here, this two combination, this kind of feels to me like that and four of cups can indicate you know either they're picky or that you're picky <laughs> maybe this person will like you first before you like them so that's what i'm getting on unless it's, it's vice versa some of you may like this person first and they may not so open to the idea of a relationship until maybe later on okay um, we've got these seven of wands here and we've got the chariot in reverse mm. See, there's this energy of maybe for some of you, this love is coming in, this person is coming in, or maybe this person is already in your life right now. The Seven of Wands, it feels like you may be resisting this person, right, at first. You may not give it a go right away. I feel like you're going to delay it. And, you know, Four of Cups is okay, okay, maybe you still could be going through some uh, issues with somebody from your past, or that you're just protecting your heart, you don't want to get hurt. Because maybe this person just seems too good to be true. And the uh, high resources of can maybe this person keeps to themselves and you know they do their own thing and they're not really or they could be somebody very spiritual or somebody religious as well, but not in a extreme kind of way because the fool you can indicate like them being, you know, also very open minded. Hmm. For some of you, this could be someone returning from your past, right? Ten of Swords and Lovers Judgment. Oh gosh, I know some of you would hate, hate me saying this. Like, I don't want, I don't care about the past person. Who is the new person I'm gonna be married to? So, or getting mar- ma- or marrying, doesn't matter anymore, right? It's not even gender specific, but um, I feel like some of you, yeah, it could be someone you could be going through some issues with, two different groups of you, one, it could be someone completely new, like what I mentioned early on, or it could be someone returning, because you've got the judge, judgment, and we've got the six of swords here, this may be someone you may have had a history with, they may return to you, um, and I feel like they may reach out to you, and both of you may see each other, talk over things, discuss about something that may have happened in the past some pentacles and reverse this could be someone you've given up on they may have hurt you here in the past with a hermit here so this person might propose to you and you might not be 100 percent sure again with the moon here whether you want to marry them or not <laughs> or take the relationship to the next level and the high priestess can indicate also specifically saying you know use your intuition some of you there is a chance of marriage here for sure but i also see that some of you you might choose to block this person out or that you might just you know go yolo (laughs) y-o-l-o you only live once kind of energy so it really really depends on you Hmm. because there is something very obscure here that i'm getting because the high priestess when we ask a question whether to, to find out yes or no, like a specific question. Whenever the high priestess comes out, especially with the hermit here, it feels a bit like 
you know, it could go either way, and that, and plus we got the moon here, so it feels like a mystery, right, also, it's, it's the universe way of saying, it's up to you, and you have to just go along with it, go along with the ride, and then you will see if you would want to marry this person or not, okay, all right, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. I hope it serves you well. I will leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. It's titled Asia. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. Um, you can click on it, scroll the way down, look for your sign. There could be some other important messages for you over there. For those of you um, who like to be notified every time when I, when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. And also, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Alright, take care, air signs. Bye.